Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I am feeling super today. Like seriously, look at this. I actually got my favorite like shirt ever. It's a soup dumpling or a chow long bao and a little spoon thing here. But we're not making soup dumplings today. I do have a recipe for that though, by the way. You should check that out. It's not that very authentic, but it's actually really easy to do and delicious. But forget about that for now. We're going to make a soup today. Now I promise all of you back in the summer when I went to a certain chain restaurant and I had this soup that everyone goes crazy over. We'll call it um, uh, Tuscan Zupa or Zupa Tuscan, or whatever we're gonna call it, I'll just call it that. And I just was underwhelmed more by it. I didn't understand why everybody is so obsessed with the soup, and I don't know. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta make a version of this that I feel like is delicious. And I'm sure the other people who made copycat recipes that it's really good and probably better than what I had were in the restaurant, but I had to come up with my own version, and I'm coming up with this thing called spinach and sausage soup today, and it's, it's I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's divine. It's divine, it's amazing, it's perfect for this time of year, it has beautiful color to it, and the flavor matches how beautiful it looks. So guys, we're gonna go right to the Instant Pot and so easily make some of the most flavorful, sausagey, spinachy, cheesy, potato-y, I can just keep going on and on, soup ever. Let's go. Sausage, stage left. So let's start with three shallots and dice it up. Now let's take about a pound and a half, and I'm doing a mix of baby white and baby red potatoes, but you can just do all red or all white, whatever you want. I just feel like the baby ones are easiest. And then cut them into quarters, just like this, and you can leave the skin on it if you'd like to, that's totally fine. I'm just realizing these are actually like baby Yukons or baby gold, that's totally fine too to use, by the way. I would just use baby potatoes for this. I really like leaving the skin on, they're adorable, simple, small. And now let's focus on our sausage. I'm using two pounds of sausage for this, and I'm using a mix of hot Italian sausage and sweet Italian sausage, but you can just use all of one variety if you'd rather that instead, but I like to mix things up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the sausage from its casing. And let me just show you how to do that really quick. Just take the sharp edge of a knife here and just kind of just like lacerate it like that. And then look at that. It's going to open right up. The casing is going to peel right off. And you have all the meat right at your disposal. Very, very easy. Just remove all this and put it into a bowl. And there we have it. Nice and uncased sausage meat. Some people like their sausage cut. Some like it uncut. Moving on. I'm going to go to my Instant Pot and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of olive oil along with a quarter of a stick of salted butter. So now let's come down to the control panel and hit the saute function and make sure we're on the more or the high setting. And after about three minutes when our butter is melted and our oil is starting to sizzle, let's take our shallots and add them to the pot. And now let's stir that up in all the oil and butter for about three minutes we're gonna let this cook in there. And after about three minutes of the shallots sauteing in the pot, they're gonna begin to brown a little bit and now we're gonna add in our sausage. Dump all that unwrapped meat in there. And now get in there and really break up the meat. Use a good mixing spoon or a wooden spatula and just start breaking everything up. And as we brown our sausage in the pot, you're gonna see they're gonna release a lot of juices because sausage likes to do that. There's a lot of fat in there, which is delicious. It's gonna add unbelievable flavor to this soup, which blows my mind that certain chain restaurants with sausage in there can't release that flavor. It makes me wonder how they make it. All right, and now that we've kind of broken down all of our sausage meat, we're just gonna let it kind of cook in the pot for about three minutes. It shouldn't be fully cooked. It's gonna be pressure cooked after all. And as the sausage is cooking, let's add in a tablespoon of crushed garlic and mix that up with the sausage. And by the way, I really do recommend using two pounds of sausage because it kind of cooks down. It becomes basically like a ground beef almost as you start mixing it around in the pot and giving it heat. Nice and crumbled. And you're going to see that because the sausage releases plenty of juices, it's not really going to stick to the pot at all. It's going to be nice and smooth, which is great because we're going to be bringing a bunch of liquids to pressure. All right, and after about three to five minutes of cooking our sausage up in the pot, it's going to have gotten nice and crumbled up. Again, it shouldn't be fully cooked at this point because it's going to be pressure cooked. Let's add in our next ingredient. And that's going to be a cup of sherry wine. Yes, a whole cup. Now, if you don't want to use sherry wine, don't worry about it. We're going to add broth, and you can just make up the difference in broth. And then just stir up our sherry with our sausage, and we're going to bring it to a little bit of a simmer. The heat of the pot will do that, and we're going to let this go for about another three minutes. And after about three minutes of the sausage simmering in the sherry, we're now going to add in some broth. I'm going to add in five cups of chicken broth, or you could add in five cups of garlic broth if you'd rather that instead. And I'm going to season this up by adding in one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. 
and let's give all of that a nice good stir in the pot. Let's get our seasonings nice and blended in with all of our broth and all of our sausage. And now we want to add in our potatoes. Just smooth those out in there. That's just fine. And last but not least, we want to green this up a little bit, and I'm going to do that by adding some baby spinach. I'm adding in about five ounces worth, but you can really add in up to, I guess, ten ounces, because this stuff cooks down into nothing. But I think five ounces will do the trick. You just place it all on top. Do not stir it in. Just leave it right on top. So, all right, let's take the lid, make sure that we secure it. Let's make sure the nozzle's in sealing position. And let's come down here and hit the cancel or the keep warm cancel button. And then hit the pressure cook or manual button, depending on your model. We want to go, guys, at 10 minutes at high pressure. And that's it. Now, as you saw, there's a lot going on in that pot. And some things, you know, take some time to come to pressure. Some things don't. Some things will come to pressure very, very quickly. This is going to take a little bit of time. So just, you know, you have some time to spare. Because once it comes to pressure, you have 10 minutes for it to then cook and then we're gonna quick release it and that's gonna take another few minutes so if you need to take a shower in between like I'm gonna do right now to prep myself to actually look camera ready for you go and do that or walk your dog or gossip about your best friend to your other best friend I, I don't know whatever you want to do do something but this is one of the best things about having an instant pot you can just set it really and forget it once it starts to cook and by the way the reason that we're cooking this for 10 minutes is because there are potatoes in there we want them to get nice and soft when we're cooking we don't want to bite into a hard potato it's time to do a quick release. The smell as that releases is just unbelievable. It's like a sausage party in here and they've come to the right house, I'll tell you that. And our pin just dropped, so let's take our lid off. And there's the soup. Let's take a spoon and mix everything up together in there. Oh boy, oh boy, we're looking great so far. And we have a few final steps. Just two more ingredients to add. Guys, you know me, my love for this stuff. Some borsin or borsan, and you'd think that I'm working with them, but I'm not, because I just love this stuff. It's like a great alternative to a cream cheese because it's so much more flavor to it, but I'm, I'm using a 5.2 ounce thing of borsin. You can find it usually in like the fancy deli section, cheese section of your market, and Costco carries them in packs of three at a great price. So I've just chopped up one of the little rounds of borsin, and I'm putting it in the pot, but again, you can use about five ounces of a brick of cream cheese if you can't find borsin. And then just stir that up inside the soup until it gets nice and melded. It's going to happen very quickly because this is a very hot soup. And about a minute of stirring up the borsin inside of the soup should do it. It should get nice and melded by then. Alright, and our final ingredient. We're going to both cut and intensify the flavor of the soup by adding in a cup of heavy cream or half and half. And give that a nice stir, and it's going to give the soup an absolutely beautiful, beautiful color. And it's just full of all these different colors, because you'll see, as the sausage cooks in the soup, it's going to release some of its own juices, and it actually is perfect. It adds so much to it. So we'll come to the top, but it's going to be perfect. It adds amazing flavor. It goes with the soup exactly how it should, and we're going to ladle some of this incredible soup into some bowls right now and try it out. Look at it, guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Rich and hearty, full of sausage, potatoes, spinach, and then the most unbelievably rich and delectable broth you've ever had in a soup. This is going to put any other sausage soup right back to the sausage factory. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to ladle some of this into a bowl here. Get some of the goodies in there first. And perfect, guys. Just perfect. Maybe a little bit more to top it off. I mean, did you ever? Let's try it out. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's check this soup out. Look at all this stuff going on in this soup. Look at it. There's so much going on in here. All right, here we go. Got a bunch of stuff in here. I just saved you a trip from ever going to specific restaurants again that are chains and ordering this soup because now you're going to just be let down when you go there. I know that sounds so pompous, but it's true. It's to die for, it's to die for. It's an incredibly hearty soup. There's so much comfort behind this soup. And the distribution of everything in there, I love that there's a little bit of the oil from the sausage in here adorning the top of the soup a little bit. It gives it such beautiful color and incredibly rich flavor, and it melds into everything perfectly. The potatoes are cooked to absolute perfection. Not mush, but not firm. They're literally just Goldilocks right. If she was eating with three bears right now, well, Goldie, well, you have me and Richard already. I need one of my friends to come over. Hmm. It's outrageous. It is so ridiculously easy to make. You see, it takes really no time at all in the Instant Pot. It's very much a set it and forget it recipe. Just a little sauteing, dump a few things in there, walk away, come back, 
presto, you have an unbelievable, unbelievable sausage soup. Sausage and spinach soup. Splendid, spectacular sausage soup. I'm just gonna call it sausage and spinach soup. It just sounds like the most logical name for it. And in addition to just eating this amazing soup, take some like crusty like Italian or French bread and dip some in there. Oh man, guys, it's an unbelievable experience. Mm. Hey Richard, yeah. come and try this soup. Here, why don't you give this a try? Okay. Make sure you're on the camera so everyone can see that lovely punum. That means face in Yiddish, by the way. I knew that. Try that out. Mm. It's very good. It's cheesy, potato, so it's like a, whoops. But salsa, I mean, like, I'm telling you the ingredients, basically. It tastes like everything that's in it. If you had to describe this soup in three words, what would you say about it? Salsa, potato, cheese. How original, but that's okay. I mean, hey, I mean, it's true to what it is, so that's that's great. So I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> sure, you know, I, I'll do Thank all the you. cooking. You sit and you watch, you know, yeah. The Simpsons on the couch. That's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. That's what we're here for. I need him to help me eat all this food, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, go to PressureLookCooking.com. I have tons of recipes there. You don't want to miss anything. I have at least one a week that comes out. Thanksgiving is coming up around the corner. This is gonna be great for Thanksgiving if you want a little bit of an unconventional soup. Also, uh, facebook.com slash pressureluckcooking. Like that page, that little thumbs up logo, like it. Uh, you're gonna see all new things that drop there. Videos, uh, you know, tips on items, humor, all that great stuff, lives that I do. You don't wanna miss out. Anytime a new recipe comes out, you'll be notified there as well. And uh, at PressureLuck to subscribe to me on YouTube where all my videos also live. Very easy to find them. Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. Thank you guys so much again. And what is it, Tuscan Zoo? Mm -mm. We're all about spinach and sausage soup today, guys. And I'm gonna clean up. Please, sir, can I have some more? More? Here you go. Here, have some more, Bobby. Enjoy it. Thank you, sir. Yes, a Jew making Italianish type soup. Enjoy. Well, like I always say, Jews and Italians, same behavior, different savior. I don't know why I'm tapping you on the shoulder as a piece of Italian. He's like Irish and, uh, you know, from the South. So, whatever. Enjoy. Wait, I need. Heaven, heaven in a ladle, all right.